With a yo ho ho, it's Tale of the Toaster. Welcome to an overview video on Inazuma 11 Go Chrono Stones. In this video, I'm going to showcase the locations and rewards for all of the parallel stones that you can get around the world before beating the game. After beating the game, there are also three version exclusive parallel stones, which I will cover in their own video. But for now, let's get to the action. So the first one we're going to take a look at is inside the Reserves Club Room in Ryman Present Day. And this kind of reward is the main thing that you're going to be seeing from Parallel Stones. Ones that don't disappear and you can visit every time. And these are used to view certain character models that you can rotate and swap between different characters. So in this case we get to look at the 3D models for all of the managers and story required female players, i.e. just Goldie. Meanwhile on the pitch there would actually be two parallel stones here if you're playing Thunder Flash because this is one of the where one of the version exclusive post game parallel stones is hidden but I'm recording on Wildfire so I just get this. JP you've got to see this. I can summon my own fighting spirit now. Wow, really? I want to see. It's so awesome. I'll be able to stop anything they throw at me now. Show me. Here I go. This is my fighting spirit. Oh, uh... Speechless, right? Well, how about this? How about that? Think I'll be keeping my position as goalie for the foreseeable future now, eh? Um, Sam, about that fighting spirit. That's frontline fighter Black Pawn. It's sort of meant for dribbling. And yep, so that's not even applied to Sam in the end. You just get the manual for Black Pawn, which you can use by visiting the Spirit Master on Inazuma Tower. Now the last one at Ryman School itself is one that we've actually shown off on the channel before if you were watching the Passwords video and that's because this is the Professor Layton event that you can only access via using the Password. So I'm not going to voice act it again, we've already seen it. But again, the Password for this event is both in the video description and on screen right now. Type that in at the Passwords menu and you will be able to see this event which unlocks you a hint coin that you can then use to recruit the also password locked Professor Layton characters. And the last one for Inazuma Town as a whole is just over here to the left of Windsor Manor. Hi everyone, I've got a great goal celebration to show you. It's a fun one. And that's how you get the goal celebration for Victory Leap. We will be getting lots of goal celebrations as the video progresses. Next stop is the Tonghana Hospital where the Parallel Stone is along the bottom of the map. And this one is going to be another fun goal celebration. Always my favourite thing to get out of a Parallel Stone actually, but there are some good rewards out otherwise. Hey, look who it is! Listen, I had time to kill, so I rustled up my own goal celebration. Take a gander! Love that one. Knee slide should have been there since the beginning. Our next destination is here in Sanctum. This is the first map screen for the Windy Green, and the Parallel Stone is all the way over here. Hello there, would you like to see a new goal celebration? I think it might be a little bit silly, but it should be cute. Of 
pretty much the only time we've seen Sky actually use the 3D model for something, but that's another nice goal celebration to have. Okinawa actually has two, with the first being on the bottom row of Lullaby Bay. And boy am I experiencing walking around this area now. I've been trying to get all the protocol on Mega Players and, well, <laughs> it takes a lot of battling here. Ow, pet! I've got a bit of ghoul celebration gun in here, like. Look at this! You used to be able to get that one really easily in Go 1, but now it's a lot more hidden here. The school, meanwhile, has a parallel stone right at the entrance at the far back, where we get sucked through a rift in the space-time continuum as we've been done quite a few times already. Ah! Heavenly Horse Arch Pegasus! Um... This is just normal Pegasus, not Arch Pegasus. How'd that happen? Wonderbot, is this? It's a parallel world resonance phenomenon. All the Aryans in each world are reacting to each other, making him many times weaker. What? That's causing it? Oh no. I guess it's not such a big deal. Wait, there may be a way to counteract it. How? Yes, how? Well, I'm very glad you asked. It's quite simple. You simply substitute the coach so that the glorious Clark von Wunderbar may lead you to victory. Faye, I think I'm good with the normal Pegasus. Yeah, we'll just stick with that. Boo. Which is not a bad shout at all. I do think the dribbling special move suits Arian a lot better than the big shooting one, and it's nice that you get to armify regular Pegasus now. Hidden in the Saints Way Stadium is a parallel stone right in the centre. This is the one that starts the post-game story, so I will not be using that parallel stone in this video, and I will instead be going for this one. You must always remember, my son. There are always people out there in the world who don't have the privilege of kicking a ball around. I'm not saying that what we did as Fifth Sector was right, but I like to think it taught us all the real value of playing football. The real value of the humble football itself. I understand, Father. I always think what life might have been like if I'd been born less fortunate, unable to play. Hey Father, can I show you my new moves? I've been training hard to get revenge back on Ryman. <laughs> Why not? Go on, my son. Okay, what's this? Stop! What did you just do to that ball? What? What did I just tell you about value? Fighting spirit, hear me roar! No! Leave the balls alone! What do you think, father? That'll put them back in their place, huh? I've practiced these moves day and night just to get stronger. Hundreds, no, thousands of times over. Hundreds? Thousands? How could you, my son? But I'm not done yet. I have to refine my skills even further. I have to be perfect! I know you'll be behind me all the way, father. I'll climb back up to the top, and then I'll serve Ryman a slice of humble pie. I thought I brought you up better than this. Father, what do you mean? I absolutely love that conversation. It's really poking fun at the plot hole in the first game, and you do get the first move that we saw there, shot stopper for your goalkeeper. Now over at the park, there is another parallel stone, but this is actually in the past. The distinction being the different music in the background, even though the area looks visually identical. Yes, you can go to the park in this time zone, it's kind of easy to miss that. But if you do check the parallel stone here... Hey you! I've got a great goal celebration I've been keeping up my sleeve for today. Get this! Ah, 
you get the Twirl in Pose, which is not my favourite, but I always appreciate having more celebrations. Much more clearly in the past, if you go to this section of the car park, there's a parallel stone. The very area where we saw Xavier and Jordan have that conversation in Inazuma 11 3, and there was pretty much always a treasure chest here in previous games too. And this is where we get to see the 3D models for Mark, Sylvia, Aurelia, and that's it, <laughs> in their original OG Ryman uniforms. But now that we're properly time travelling, there are a lot more parallel stones to find in these different time periods. Because, for example, here we see in the Jizo Temple, the kits for Aryan and his friends in the Sengoku period. And there is one of these parallel stones for every single time period because they went all out with the costumes. Except for the other Ancient Japan chapter, I guess. Not only do you get the male characters in one parallel stone, but also in the tofu shop. This will again be a tradition for all of the upcoming areas, but you can see the models for the female characters with a separate parallel stone. Such as Sky, Jade, Rosie, and even Beta in her costume as the coach Lady Bete. Just outside Nagoya Castle, here in Awari at the Castle Gate, there's another event waiting for us as a voice calls out for the power from the Parallel Stone. Of course, it sounds familiar. Ciao! I've just mastered the new goal celebration. Make sure you study it carefully, okay? Fantastic to see Ricardo in the casual clothing, by the way. And right in the middle of Cherry Storm Park is our final parallel stone for the Sengoku period. Oh, hello! Um, would you like to see my new girl celebration? I've been working really hard on it! Wow, you, you must have worked really hard on that. We go to France next, and inside the lookout tower we can find another parallel stone. This is also where you meet up with Joan of Arc if you wish to recruit her in the post-game, which I did on this copy of the game, and as a result, Gabby lost his Mixy Max, and I instantly regretted it. But yeah, we can again see the models for Arian, Faye, Ricardo, Victor and JP and even Roma and Gabby and all of them if you want as well, but they don't change much beyond the first five or so Deeper into Vukula you can go to Joan's base of actions and you will find the equivalent parallel stone Obviously, I'm gonna make an effort to show both of the costume ones back to back before we get to the more unique stuff But here you get to see Joan Gabby in the, in the, well, I guess actually this is not a, a straight gender swap, but rather we are looking at the knight's costumes instead of the typical overworld peasant uniform. So that's good. Even these vast areas in the overworld can still hide parallel stones. This one in the French countryside is one of the hardest to find but go directly south of Orléans and then this will be waiting for you. What? You want to see my goal celebration? If I must. <laughs> I love it, mate. And the last one for France is atop this lookout tower, and I covered this one in the main Let's Play because you should absolutely go to this parallel stone as soon as possible. Well, the the parallel stone itself only contains the models for the for the female characters, but more importantly, it is this kind of area that contains the treasure chest for the special tactic Thunderbolt, which is so useful. Hope you're excited to scale uh, the fort of Chugaliang again because there are four parallel stones along the way. 
The first of which is going to be... The models for Arian, Faye, Ricardo, Victor, JP, the usual suspects here in the chapter of China. I'm seeing Seoul here because again I'm recording on Wildfire, but you would be seeing Bailong here if you were playing Thunder Flash. The second floor gives us another parallel stone, and again you cannot skip travel inside of the tower. You can only skip to the entrance or the peak. So this one takes some real walking to get to, just so that you can see the uniforms of Goldie, Sky, Jade, and Rosie, all of which are the same in this case. Now here on the fifth floor, we're getting even higher up now. We've passed the pitch where we took on the Terracotta Warriors, who are still there, by the way. But our reward again this time is more costumes, but this time it's for Liu Bei. Guan Yu, Zhang Fei, and Chu Liang herself. No Zanuck though. And now to backtrack, we will actually go to the Terracotta Hall and find this parallel stone at the very bottom left for the real reward. This is not a character model, instead we will be getting something better. Guys, we've got visitors! Don't be silly, we don't get visitors. No, he's right, they're really here. No, you're just twisting my cogs. We are not. Can any of you move? Nope, stiff as a board. Crumbs, I think I've got a part missing. Come on, people, emergency warm-up. Get that oil flowing. Good thing I practiced fist beam. Don't point it at me. Check your angle, mate. It's fine, I'm a professional. I'm telling you, it'll put your back out. We serve the Chuga, remember? If anything goes wrong, it's on your head. You mean fist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I absolutely love that. And you get the goalkeeper move fist beam from the Terragotta Warriors. Now, in this derelict room of the Shinsengami headquarters, frankly, I didn't even realise you could go in here, but I guess this is supposed to represent the room that Okita Soji was living in. This is where you get to see the costumes for Gabby, Aitor, Lucian, and Soul, or Bailong, and Goldie, whilst they were part of the other half of the, um, the navigation squad. But just good to see this area in general. Again, you have to go through that side of the Shinsengami headquarters doorway. Now this parallel stone is one that I imagine everyone watching the video has already obtained because it's hidden in plain view after the point where parallel stones are already unlocked. So most would get this throughout the main story, but it is of course Victor's goal celebration. You want me to demonstrate my goal celebration? All right, but I'll only show you this once. Well, <laughs> jokes on you, buddy. You've shown us twice already. Bang bang, one of my favorites. For the final one, you want to be at the city riverbank in the north section of the map, and another goal celebration will be waiting for us just here. Stroke a lot meeting you here, eh? Watch our rock this goal celebration out. Booyah! The only goal celebration with an actual sound effect. You get the air guitar. Now, at the lakeside in the Cretaceous period, this is also the area of the map where you could access the Palpac Society for the Perfect Cascade members if you would like to recruit them, which is advisable because they can mix and max and armor fly straight out the gate. Hey, how's this for a goal celebration? Bish bash bosh. I'm surprised they got one lead to do that one. You can't really see the full movement with a model that size, but that's another good victory pose. 
Now right towards the top of the screen here in the south of the Great Plain, the Parallel Stone is up here in this top left corner, and this is where we get our model appreciation area again. So we get dressed in bin bags, Arian, Faye, Ricardo, and everyone else that I'm sure you know by now. The main one is here at Saw's house right atop the cliff, and this is another one that we did cover uh, in the Let's Play because it's right there when you're already playing through the game anyway, but if you missed it, make sure to check out this parallel stone to get another goal celebration. Now, Soar lead and Aridon follow. Watch Soar. Got it. Oh, yeah, I'm doing the thing. I guess we should join in too. Oh, go, 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 go. <laughs> I'll give it a go. Soar impressed. You all pick up quickly, quick as piddles. Now, all together. Booga booga booga, dancing like caveman. And your reward is not some goal celebration, that was a slip of the tongue. You get juicy meat. Not a fantastic reward for their embarrassment. Here in King Arthur's castle, there are actually two parallel stones back to back, along with a silver and a gold chest as well, so there is plenty to do in this room. You can even recruit King Arthur in this room if you get his pal pack requirements sorted. But here we see the costumes for the Knights of the Round Table, Ryman as we took them on when they were on the opposing side. So it clearly is a different costume to the Knights outfits used in the French period. It's good that they went to that extra bit of detail there. Meanwhile the parallel stone on the left will show us some more costumes, so it's nice to keep them together so you can swap between them instead of journeying across the land for two of much the same thing. But here we instead get Arian, Bay. Ricardo, Victor, and JP, with Roma and Soul Stroke Bylong. And to complete the costumes, we head to the Pool of Spirits, where we get to see the female characters' costumes. And these are, of course, some of the most interesting because they're all totally unique depending on the character this time. So we have Princess Elaine as Sky, well, the other way around, but you know. We get Jade as the coach driver. We get Rosie Red as uh, Lady... What was she called again? Lady something, but she was the fairy of the lake here in this area. We even get Lunette, the required chatting NPC who Arian wakes up in the house of when travelling to this world. But nothing for Goldie. Outside Grieva's Grotto is another parallel stone, and this time we're back to goal celebrations. What's it going to be this time? Ah, yeah, there's a goal celebration I wanted to show you. Don't you dare laugh. <laughs> now, the final one for Camelot is out here in the open. You want to skip travel to Grimwell, leave that area, and then it's just above these trees at the bottom of the map. Hello, I've got a goal celebration I've been meaning to show the Virtuoso, but can I show it to you first? It has to be perfect! I'm... I'm sure he'll hate it. Now then, into the future, you can get to the suburbs of Centrado by heading to the Football Mu Memorial Museum, and then taking the teleporter on the right-hand side, to get to this very easily missed location. But this is, of course, where we get to see the future costumes for Faye, Goldie, and the... Well, that's it, but this is a very under... You don't really see this costume much outside of this single scene, which does take place in the suburbs, while Faye kind of normally looks like this, so a big contrast. And the final parallel stone that we will be covering in this video is here outside the Football Memorial Museum. Again, if you want to see the version exclusive parallel stone interactions, that will be its own video. But for now, let's enjoy a goal celebration from Goldie. 
Easy peasy, you should check out my new goal celebration. I think you'll quite like it. I certainly do. That's probably the one that I'd do if I was an Inazuma 11 player. But that's all for today. Check out the next Parallel Stones video for the exclusives and I will see you then.